Hey there, Ray Delvecchio here. I'm going to do something today where I create a logo using Photoshop, which I subscribe to, so I have access to it. But I also realize that not everyone does, so I'm going to use an, a free online editor and attempt to make the same logo with Photoshop and with a free online editor. This video is going to be specific to Photoshop. If you want to see the free online video editor, I'm going to link to that video down here. So you just click on the link and you can check out that video. But we're going to get started. And what I'm using is I'm using a free vector file from the site vecteasy.com. And I'll add the link in the video description here. But what I want to do is I just want to use this part of the logo because I'm going to do a logo for a fake company, a construction and remodeling company. And I just want to use the top part of it. But I'm going to choose my own text. So I'm going to go through that process now and I already have it downloaded and opened in Photoshop so let me go here here's a JPEG version of the logo and they also give you an AI file which is an Adobe Illustrator file if you have access to that but I'm just gonna do this in Photoshop for today now I do wanna explain something really quickly about that I'm gonna do this logo in black I'm gonna keep it black and the reason being is that this logo and the background are one layer so if I wanted to change this color from black to something else, I would need to select this text with some, well, like the quick wand tool in Photoshop. And that's not the way to do it. The best way to do it would be to drag the Adobe Illustrator vector file into Photoshop, and that way you can easily change it with a color overlay or something like that. And you could see that if we go into Photoshop, I have this open, and what I would do is just select the object for this roof um, design and drag that into Photoshop. But like I said, for the purposes of this, I'm just gonna deal with the JPEG as is. So what I wanna do is go to the brush, which is right down here, or you could press B. And I'm just gonna paint this white to get rid of the text. And we can go over to Google Fonts to choose our font. For this demonstration, I'm gonna choose a fake company name. I'm gonna do Smith and Sons Remodeling. And just let me quickly browse. I'm not going to take too long to choose here. And these are the two that catch my eye. The Railway and Monte Serrat. So I'm just going to use this Monte Serrat. You can see it's added to my collection currently. And I can uh, choose the Use button to download it. And I want to download it as a zip file. And if I go in here, I do already have these installed, but all I would have to do on Windows is just double click the file. And this should work the same on Mac. And install the font file. So I did this for the bold and regular fonts. So let me go back into Photoshop. And I'll type out our name here. And I'm going to break this up into two lines. So right now this is white. I'm just going to type it out. And then we'll change the color. See if I made any mistakes. I think I did. I might have just pressed an extra button here. <laughs> um, but let me change this to black. And that looks like it's right. And I will go over here and center it with the background. And it looks like that's not completely centered with this roof design. So I, I might just have to eyeball it. Oh, I tried to move the wrong layer there. So yeah, let me just eyeball that. And I'm going to make it extend a little bit more than the outer boundary of the roof. So I think about there is good. And then I'm just going to copy this layer down here, change this text to remodeling. I, I'm actually going to make this match the width, so let me eyeball that as well. I'm going to make it match the width of the roof line. And to break it up a little bit, I'm going to make this text white, and I'm going to create a rectangular box around it. So let me do that. I gotta select the tool down here, make sure it's the rectangle tool. And up here you can see that the fill is white and the stroke, there is no stroke. I want to make sure that the fill is black. And I can't tell if this is just a dark color or a black color. I'm just going to try this out. We'll drag the box here. And yeah, you can see that's not black. So 
just to quickly do this, I'm going to bring up the layer style and do a color overlay. And you're probably noticing now that I'm not a designer. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not necessarily the best with Photoshop, but I get around very efficiently because I've been using Photoshop for websites for a few years now. So let me make sure that this background layer is behind the remodeling text so we can see that. And we'll change this to white also so it doesn't match. And there we go. And I could center these two. And I think we have a logo. I mean, I think this looks pretty darn good for, you know, what, three or four minutes that we just took to work on it. So let me just make it a little bit smaller so you can see it, you know, in a smaller scale. And yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So let's just call that a logo. And we are going to attempt to recreate this logo as best as we can using the free online editor. Once again, I'll link to that video. And if you want to learn more about creating websites, you know, maybe you're not a designer and you're, you actually do want to use a logo or build a logo for a website, then I do a lot of videos on WordPress, web design, and working from home using those skills. So if you're interested in that, you can visit my website, which is WebsiteProfitCourse.com. I have a lot of information there and resources available to you. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks a lot, guys and girls. Have a great one.